Hey everybody, good morning. It is Quicken. And today I just want to kind of take you on a tour of my Christmas tree and show you some of the ornaments that were sent to me by some of the channel members. So I'm super excited for that. A little bit of background. This is John and I's first tree and I haven't really been getting a tree not for a while so like not since living with like my parents so I don't really have like a collection of ornaments and I feel like that's kind of something that people we're not gonna nuzzle the tripod there's construction happening like all over the place like three different houses are being built on my block right now which is usually fine when I film in the back room but because the tree is up front I tried some makeshift soundproofing that the cats have become obsessed with. So, oh geez. I have put the shopping cart on guard duty. But I tried to soundproof the front door just because it is a very old door. And it's probably not working, so I hope I can just enhance the vocals when I put this in post. But here is my tree. I got it on Saturday. When I was younger, my grandma worked at Hallmark, so I used to get Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments every year. Because Hallmark will have like collections, like Justine has a collection every year. She has a dog's ornament and it'll like have the little year on it. And my grandma, just, um, like a lot of the Hallmarks like went out of business a couple years ago, probably like seven or eight years ago. So my grandma hasn't worked there for a while and I think they discontinued the like every year Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments anyway, and they should have just waited because Nightmare Before Christmas is popping off again. Or it's because I follow Spencer's on Instagram. I haven't had a like yearly ornament in a long time, but it would be something nice to get back into. So I just want to show you some of the stuff on our tree. A lot of it is a, like a little untraditional. Basically anything with a hook we stuffed into the tree. And then yesterday, John and I went to Target one more time so he could pick out like a specific ornament. Target had like really, really cute ornaments this year. Most of the Hallmarks are closed on Sunday. I really, you know, I was really holding on to that Hallmark idea, but there are so few in the city. There's one, but it's in a train station. So that was closed yesterday anyway. And then the rest were 20 to 40 minutes out of the city and John was just like, no. <laughs> so we went to Target. So I'm just going to give you a tour of the tree so far and hold out until the end of the video when I'll unbox some of the ornaments that some of my subscribers had sent. So you can join channel memberships on my channel. I don't know if it's available all over the world, but if you, I believe you can check it from mobile and you can check it from your desktop, there's a little join button. I put out a little thing back in November that was like, if you want to send any ornaments for the Christmas tree, you can send it to the <laughs> Quicken Ornament, the Quicken Ornament team. And I said if not, you can also just send a postcard. So I have a couple of those as well. If you want to join channel memberships, feel free. It was just like a little um, small thing I wanted to do just to like share and see what kind of ornaments you guys would send me. I think that would be really sweet. So don't feel like you're left out if you can't join channel memberships or anything like that. I just thought it would be something cute to do for our very first tree. John and I kind of decided last minute like we're gonna get a real tree this year. You may remember last year I just had a wreath. So just a quick little thing. Don't feel left out but you can enjoy these ornaments we can all enjoy these. I mean, like, I don't know how important, like, even this year, John and I are really minimally exchanging gifts. Like, I don't even know, like, we haven't even gone out to buy his parents' presents yet, so I don't know about all those traditions. I got John some stuff before we talked about maybe just going halvesies on an iPhone or something. But anyway, all of that is represented in this little cute Santa and all the ornaments uh, at Target were on sale. So the next thing I have in the tree is this Hello Kitty who works at McDonald's. I just, um, I believe I've either had this forever or I got it in like the last year, but 
you can kind of see it has like some hair on it and stuff because wherever I display it, the cats always find it and think it's a toy. So I think it would be great if it becomes just like a Christmas tree ornament this year. So as a part of the Quick and Ornament team, I said you could also like um, send cards. So Emily just sent me this card. So I just have this like hung over the tree. This is the back of the tree and you can kind of see that the ribbon is tied right here. So I just have this, my grandmom's Christmas card, and then another postcard. Um, kind of displayed like this. I didn't buy this. This was something I just already had in my basement for like a craft I'm sure I was working on. So I just threw that in there. Up here I just have this little hot dog and this was a Heidi Kenny blind box. They all come on like little elastics. Because they're plush, I have never really wanted to put them on a keychain. I feel like I just feel like if he was on a keychain, he would get dirty, and it's also just like this elastic kind of thing. So I usually have him over with like my like spare keys and things like that, so I just brought him over here. So up here, I also have another Heidi Kenny situation here, and I don't know if I bought this one at a craft fair or if I got this in plush of the month, but it also has like a little elastic top. So that is him. He just has like a little elastic here and yeah, like no matter where he is, the cats just kind of find him and play with these little like rain pieces of fabric. So I think he's cute on the tree. So next I just have my YouTube space lanyard. I just popped this in here because it looked like the red ribbon and I haven't put any keys on it or anything like that when I was in... When I went to those YouTube classes, how am I out of breath? When I went to those YouTube classes in New York, um, I won two of the activities, so I got prizes, and this is one of the prizes I got, so that's just displayed in the tree right there. Kind of like a nice, like, I did that this year, I guess. John just put that pine cone there. Um, I have this Bats Maru keychain, and this was something I got in one of my McDonald's unboxing videos, so I think it would be cool if all the keychains I end up getting go in the tree because then they have a place. Moving down here, John picked out this fun pineapple. Um, you know, I don't really know why. Why do I have bad cats? Like, what are you guys doing? Does anybody else have cats that, like, run all around the house and knock stuff over. Ethan's like, I'm just chilling, I didn't do that. Wait, no he's not. He's stalking out his prey. So John picked out this pineapple. Um, there's really not much I can say about it. Uh, it's a bold choice. So here is another Heidi Kenny blind box plush that I have. This one seems pretty premium. Um, someone may have sent me this, or I may have, I don't know if these came in a blind box is what I'm trying to say. It seems like something you would buy specifically, but I love this one. It's a little Boston cream with sprinkles and a little cream coming out. And I actually really do like these as ornaments. Like I said, I have a hard time displaying these um, in a way that's safe and that keeps them in good condition. So this is kind of like perfect. So moving over here, I just have my... 88 Rising um, backstage kind of pass thing. It wasn't like an, a backstage pass, it's like a premium seating pass. So I thought that was cool. I saw Joji with Rosie a couple months ago and I've just had this like hung up on the fridge with magnets so I thought it'd be cool to just like chill it in my tree as another way to like be like, oh that was a cool thing that happened this year. Next I just have this little cat badge that like lights up. This is for biking. Um, I think I got this in the Target dollar spot around Halloween two years ago, maybe four years ago. And I would put this on my backpack when I would ride home um, on my bike because it does light up. I, it came in like a two or a four pack and I just never got around to using this one so I put it in the tree. So this is my grandmom's Christmas card that I got this year. Um, I like the idea of hanging them in the tree. I think it's pretty chill. Maybe a fire hazard, I, I don't really... I don't really foresee my tree setting on fire. So here's another yummy blind box plushy character. These are pancakes and I love him. My boy. You're probably like, what? Why did you get this? <laughs> so I wanted to... I don't know. I don't know why I picked this. I can't even defend it because I picked it. 
they have like Target has a lot of different like picture frame things. You can get like a snowflake or Santa's hat or an ornament, more of an ornament shape. This is a basketball. And uh, we ball pretty hard. What's funny about this is it has this like bedazzled little string. And it says 2018. Um, this picture of us together is not from 2018. We were going to buy this and put a picture of a basketball in it. This is actually a picture of us in Harrisburg. And we're exploring this like abandoned bridge and John is throwing a rock behind him and you can, the rock is captured in this photo so we just use this photo like, I can't explain it. Over here we have my little Sam Squanch man, I love him. He is towards the top of the tree because the cat kept like, I don't know, the cat had a sense of him so he kept looking for him. Same with Santa riding the bear. <laughs> These are both from Target. Santa riding the bear is classic. I had him more towards the bottom and yeah, I don't know if the cats like rub their smell on these two gentlemen, but they were like out for blood. So now they're up here and rightfully so. Look how cute. So they are together. This was the second ornament that John picked out. Um, like if I could get into John's head, I'd love to on this choice, but it is really cute. Uh, it's like it's a terry cloth material, and it's like a nice lad holding a present, ice skating. And he's, I guess, wearing a vest because his arm is exposed out there. But it's a nice ornament, and it's one of the other ornaments that has the year on the tag, so we can kind of remember it. Down here, I just have this ornament, I think, my grandma got me last year as like a thing that goes on top of the gift box like something like that i think like i had a a gift maybe some socks or something in a box and he he was in there so i just have him like i was looking around the house like where are do i have like any ornaments at all well now he's dirty but he has like a plastic nose and a bell and nice little hat. I don't know where she got him. Maybe the tag. The tag says... Content. Shh. Don't I know that's right? So the next thing I have is this Furby. And I actually thought that this Furby came on a keychain. But if you guys remember from my like one unboxing video, this was like a weird European McDonald's Furby and not the Furbies that like Americans got when they were kids. So after I brought him downstairs, I just <laughs> like binder clipped him into the tree. Spruce him up a little bit. There we go. I had brought down a couple binder clips after the whole Furby thing. So John put up this Bonanza patch and it's pretty high up on the tree. And then he just um, binder clipped that into the tree. This is just like a, an iron-on patch. Next, I have this picture of Justine from high school. And this is on my tree because Justine's boyfriend, Dan, he found a baby picture of Justine and he turned that into the star for his tree. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna put this picture of Justine in my tree, pretty close to the top. So that's why that's there. Dan is extremely jealous and has offered to barter other pictures of Justine for this one, but I'm keeping this one. I threw out all my yearbooks a couple years ago and just cut out all the pictures of Justine and I, so that's where that's from. So for channel members, if you were worried that maybe your ornament wasn't going to get here in time or you just wanted to send like a little postcard, a little, um, you know, season's greeting kind of card, uh, Tiffany sent me this postcard and it's pretty sick. It's called the dance of death and aren't we all? We have my little Terry Claw Santa from my um, haul and this just from another year of my grandma putting something on top of like whatever present she got me. So this is from that. It's just like a little metal ornament with a snowflake on it which is pretty cool. Definitely like the vibe of our home. Tuck that in there. This one I found on the floor this morning so maybe the cats can get access to it, but nobody got Terry Claw Santa. 
This little bear I got from Target, I shared that in my little haul as well. He's just like super hilarious. He was just $3, I believe. And finally, the top of our tree right now is this um, Philadelphia soft pretzel from Heidi Kenny. And then I just put some like jingle bells and some like green and red ribbon and he is just hanging out on the top of our tree. I think he's super cute, very Philly, very me, I don't know, very on brand tree topper. And like obviously that's not his purpose, but he's made of like a very soft foam and then she put fabric on top so he can really just chill there and not bother anybody. So this is the entirety of our tree. The branches towards the bottom are like pretty skimpy, but the cats have been like weaving in and out through them and I feel like it probably gives them a nice jungle experience, so I'm not super worried about stuff like that. So I'm just going to open some of these and this first one is from Stephanie. Amanda, John, and kittens, happy holidays. I'm so glad you decided to have a tree this year. This style of ornament um, runs in my family and I have hundreds of handmaids by my ancestors so I jumped on the chance to make you guys one of your own. My boyfriend and I have love watching your videos and I love to support you and your content. I can't wait to see your channel grow in 2019. Lots of love, Stephanie. So this is really, really exciting. I love the idea of like, like I said earlier in this video, like a tradition of Christmas and tradition of ornaments. So there's a couple things in here. And here is the tin. This is amazing. Oh my God, the Bronco. Oh my God, this is so cute. I was gonna, so I was gonna wait to do these with John, but um, this is so, so sweet. This is amazing. Is this peeping? <laughs> John is really gonna like this ornament a lot. PB is his favorite. Is that fair to say? Olive, he is in the paper. So here is the front detail of this. And it's beautiful. And then here's the side. And then the front. This is amazing, and it's very lightweight. Look at this. Look at it. He's like, I'm eating tissue paper and chewing it and swallowing it, and now it's your problem. This is, this is literally so amazing. Thank you so much. So there are two more bits at the bottom of the box here, and these are catnip cat toys and their little sweaters. Look, this has to do with you. This is you. Do you want this? Whoops. Whoops. Ethan's like, what? Here you go, bud. You're more cool tone anyway, it's a little hat. Dang, it's so sweet. And then, so these little cat chasers are Ethan's favorite toy. My very first Quicken meetup, well, my only Quicken meetup, um, Ethan got BB-8 on a stick from Star Wars. And that thing has been through everything and it's his favorite toy. Like if I can like pull that thing out of the cabinet and from upstairs, he's like, so I actually got him, I have all their stockings right here. I actually got Ethan a little stick toy, but this one is actually, this one is literally way better than the one I got. 
It's so cute. I'll let the boys open that on Christmas. That's really, really sweet. Thank you so much. It's really special. So this is my next, next package and it says it's from Jones and this came from Canada, which is really nice of you guys. So here is the package. Okay, and this side has the return address, so I'm going to keep that. So this is from Jones and this, I don't, so this is a box of chocolate. I don't know if it's in this box and it's just rewrapped. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's the gang! <laughs> oh my god! Look at E! Oh. This is, this is how I draw Ethan too. I draw him just like, I just put a line across his face. I'm like, is that Ethan? This is, this is way more detailed than I draw that dude. Oh my god, here's PB! This is way better than the way I draw PB too. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I can't... I can't do anything like this. Of course, it is way better than anything I could do. This is PB! I can't believe it's PB! And Troublemaker, this is you! Does this look like you? Is this you? I'm not letting you play with these. Dear Corgan, hi, I wanted to write to you for a very long time, but never really knew what to say. I've been a fan for you for a couple years now, and I find you very inspirational. I love all your content and can't wait for more. Just wanted to say, I wish you all the best, and you always have a fan here. I really hope you like the ornaments. I know you said one, but I couldn't just pick one of your cats to crochet. They are all so cute. Sorry, Ethan is so small. I didn't mean to make him so small. <laughs> it's funny because he's laid right here and he's such a giant polar bear that for once he's not taking up all the space. I was inspired by your pumpkin paintings. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I'm excited that you got to decorate a tree. Sorry for the weird packaging. I didn't have much around and didn't want them to get wrecked. Courtney. The boy scratched my butt. These are so cute. I, I love that PB is the biggest one because biggest attitude. So this next one is from Tasha. And this is a beautiful setup. And here is the card. I love this card. This card's handmade too. I was like, damn, is this a Target card? It was like, no. Oh, this handwriting is phenomenal. Quick in, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, John and the Kitties. Thank you for your inspiring videos. I hope you enjoy the ornaments I, I made. They didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but I still had fun making them. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, First, there's like a little hat. That's super cute. Definitely goes with our theme of cuties in the tree. This is beautiful paper. Might rewrap John's present in these. Tasha's a really cool name. Oh my god! Oh my god! So, this is PB. You know, so I made I made all of our stockings on Saturday and I was at the store and I was like, do I get three separate stockings for the cats? And I was like, no, I, I just got one, but it has bells on it so like cats would like it. Now my lazy ass has been challenged. This is so perfect. I love this. So here's Olive's, a fiery red, just like his personality. He's, I don't know what he's eating. And here's Ethan, our cool tone baby. Constantly keeping it cool. Hey, buff. These are so, and, okay, so these are ornaments. This is perfect. Put a little, put a little, uh, a little olive garden gift card in here for my olive goblin. And then there is one other piece right here. Oh! <laughs> There's mine. 
How cute is that? Look at the little And here's one for John. I love this. These are all handmade. Like this is this is some real ass felt sewn. When I said I made our stockings, I bought socks and wrote our names on them. These are like made. These are so amazing. Thank you so much. Amongst all this paper, my coffee is like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I decided to go and get coffee this morning because I'm so behind on my videos that I was like, this might be the only opportunity I interact with humans today. Let me seize it. And this final package is from Victoria. I straightened up and these were supposed to be my designated kitchen scissors for like asparagus and touching food only. And then John started using them around the house and I was like, all right, yes. I love this. You guys, you guys never disappoint me. I was hoping, I was hoping for this. So, so this is a, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's like some herbs and stuff going on in here. It's all written down on this little card, so I'll explain that to you, but I wanted to show it to you. You can hang this on your tree around Christmas Yule, and if you wish, you may hang this up all year round to keep the good positive energy flowing, blessed be. I love that, you guys. I love... Witch's Ball for peace and healing. Sea salt for purification, spiritual protection, and releasing unwanted influences. Cinnamon, good luck, love, money, passion, peace, oregano, happiness, tranquility, health, protection, lavender, spiritual healing, higher consciousness, release of energy, blockage, ease of tension, promotes calmness, rose petals, admiration, sympathy, maidenhood, self-love, rosemary, memory, wards off nightmares, attracts healing energy, encourages fertility. Olive. This is so cool. I'm sorry I shook it. Well, I think you can. So I'm gonna put this towards the top of the tree. So don't worry about the cats getting to it. Hey Amanda, my name is Victoria and I've been a subscriber for a couple years now. I'm 19 and I go to tech college in my city. I'm a fellow tattoo collector, but I honestly love all the content you put out. I handmade some ornaments this year for important people in my life and that includes you. There will be a note card with the ingredients in the correspondence for each I hope you enjoy it in the holiday season. Say hi to John and the cats for me. I was thinking of them as well while I was making it. Love you, Quicken. So that's super, super sweet. So thank you much, thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you so much, Tasha. Thank you so much, Courtney. Thank you so much, Victoria. These are, these are amazing. Thank you everyone who sent me postcards and thank you to everyone who has been watching and supporting Vlogmas. I, I'm speechless. I'm so glad all these ornaments are so amazing and so touching. So thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Uh, I love you guys. Um, and thanks for hanging out with me this December. I am going to be catching up on all my videos today. So I have been vlogging every day, but it's catching up with all the videos. That is the challenge. So thank you guys so much for your patience and support. I love you, I love you so much, and until next time, oh my god, bye.